So hi, Micropuncture here again and uh, today I'm going to put some mucus uh, from my lungs under the microscope. As a matter of fact, here you can already see it. Um, when you put some mucus from your lungs under the microscope, you're going to see, of course, a lot of dust and dirt because uh, the dust and dirt gets caught inside uh, this mucus. Now, how do you get that? Well, I simply coughed it up. <laughs> Quite straightforward. Um, a little bit of coughing and then I spit it into this little um, yeah, glass uh, jar and then I put it directly under the microscope um, and as expected of course um, yeah lots of uh, particles uh, debris very much unidentifiable material but also quite interesting um, quite a few body cells uh, from my lungs and from my respiratory system which I also coughed up so those flat cells that you see there these are actually epithelial cells. Uh, you might have already seen them before in one of my other videos uh, where I took uh, some cells from the inside of my cheek and put it under the microscope. And here we see them again. Um, I also found a few other uh, cells which were not quite as flat but also more round. And, and these cells, I think uh, because of the strong wind of coughing, they simply were ripped along <laughs> and ended up in my mouth. Uh, and then of course uh, they are swallowed along um, with all of the dust and dirt uh, that also gets caught inside the mucus. The mucus as a matter of fact is a very important uh, protective uh, thing because um, it catches all of those dust and dirt particles and also bacteria that you might inhale and uh, the inside of your respiratory system is lined with little hair so-called cilia and they beat and they move and uh, they move the mucus up again and uh, then you cough and then you swallow it and this is how the respiratory system cleans um, itself. Um, now Many of the things uh, that are found inside the mucus, of course, cannot be identified. Uh, it could be not only a material from my own body, like cell debris, um, um, or it could also be, of course, uh, dust and dirt fibers, uh, something I have not seen yet. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too early in springtime. I have not found any pollen yet, um, but plant pollen, of course, should also be uh, visible. Now, I've also seen some other interesting things like this uh, strange uh, ball of what appears to be fibers. Now, I don't know what that is. Uh, but again, um, it does not surprise me because uh, whatever you inhale will essentially uh, end up uh, yeah, being glued into the mucus layer of your respiratory system. Now if of course there's too much dust in the air um, and if too much dust is able to reach uh, the lungs then of course you have a coughing reflex and uh, you've probably also experienced this when you got a little bit of your own saliva into the respiratory tract into the trachea which is the windpipe and you start to cough. Well and basically what I would like uh, to recommend is, is uh, also as a control put a little bit of your own saliva under the microscope. I have also done that and what I found there is uh, essentially not so many cells um, uh, but essentially mostly bacteria um, so you see the different parts um, of uh, the body they basically look also different under the microscope happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye